Topic number four here, based off of when I was a couple weeks ago watching with, with Jeff and um, who was sitting right behind us, but they were like, yeah, the Wisconsin, they feel that like the Wisconsin wingless isn't as competitive this year. Now, what, but that's kind of like, that's just how someone could feel about it. You know, what's hot? Well, to me, hot's over 80 degrees. What's hot to you, right? It's just what you, you what yeah. you prefer. So I guess my question is, what looks like a competitive year when you have 13 different winners, uh, like we did in 2018, or where we're at now in 2023 with five winners, five different winners, you know? Um, I feel that if you have 13 different winners, all you gotta do is get your car into this narrow window and you're gonna win a feature, right? Sure. Right, like that's uh, it's it's kind of hard to explain, right, to <laughs> to people that don't understand, like or don't wouldn't right. understand, like what that is, right? But now, let's say that same window in twenty twenty three, you have to get your car into that and then find that little extra more, just that little extra right. to get yourself into those positions. Because I mean, you you've won two features this year, mm -hmm. three, two, two, two. two. Um, we have none. Makes me sad. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'll tell you what, though. Some of the things I've seen you do, like, I swear every time he ends up in the back and he moves, like, 12 positions, yeah. I'm like, dude, that's that's insane. Some like, of the nights are the funnest nights, too. Yo, yeah. yeah. Fuming. That's what I call that. Fuming. <laughs> I've seen red. <laughs> I think on that, that, fir that first time it happened, like, you can hear me on his, like, on his camera going, like, you're like a bat out of heck. <laughs> I felt like it because I was mad. I was really mad. Um, but, yeah, so... You know, back to the, the the question, like what what is competitive year to you? Like, what does that look like? Uh, I think I think the racing itself right now is more competitive than it ever has. I think the reason why we're having less and less winners is because we're not doing the traveling that we used to do. I think that's mm. to me that's the biggest thing. That's the biggest change this year. You know, if you look at our schedule from like t obviously twenty twenty one was my favorite year for many reasons, but <laughs> it was my favorite year because of the schedule too. Mm -hmm. You know, just a just a we might have raced a few too many times that year, but the the fact that we were going to so many different tracks, yes. you know, and I think that's that's the one thing that we might be lacking right now to get the the different winner number up. Mm. You know? Okay. When you go to the same place every week, like we were just talking, we tried a different base setup, you know. Every then you start so one guy hits it, and he just every week you start going back to the same pattern, mm -hmm. and then everybody else is just trying to catch him. Where if you're going to a different racetrack every, you know, every other week or every week, whatever. Mm -hmm. That doesn't really exist. Yeah, we have our base setups, but it's you know I'm I like Angel Park because of the way it fits my driving style. Mm -hmm. You guys, you and your brother loved Francis Creek because that was your guys' driving style. Yeah, you know, so that's that's where I think they're coming up with that theory is the fact okay. that we're not doing enough travel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? So uh, I did some research because I'm very professional now. Um, just can't hit. You, you get him. I just can't get the guy's book, and now he's like all professional. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And I just can't get the live stream to go on right away. <laughs> I'm just not used to my, I'm so used to my phone going live, you know? All right, so these are different winners per year. So in 2016, we had seven, you know, but we only had two traveling tracks and we only had, or not two tra traveling tracks, just two tracks. Um, and so there's a total of 29 guys that ran sometime during that year. 2017, there were six different winners with 40 cars. 2018 was 13, which is the highest it's ever been in one year, different winners, and we had 53. Uh, 2019 was 12 different winners uh, out of 65. Wow. 2020 was 10 out of 70 cars. Wow. During the pandemic, you hear, you hear in this companies? I'm just saying, <laughs> racing don't stop. It gets bigger. <laughs> yeah. Um, 10 different winners and. and um, 2020, yeah, uh, yep. And then 2021, there was back up to 12 with 63 uh, cars. And then 2022, nine different winners um, with 66. And then this year, well, now five with Wilkie's win um, at Angel Park. And there's been 49 cars, well, 50 cars now because there was a new guy up there too. Um, so right now, if we want to get even close to um, the 12 and 13 count <coughs> number for different winners, someone different has to win. Every, every every night race. every yeah every every night someone else which is going to lead me into my last part is 
you have yourself, Marshall, Zelski, Sivia, and Rossman, right? Do you think, I know you know the answer for one of those drivers, <laughs> do you think those teams have a tire program where they are on top of their tires? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you think they're on top of their shocks? Yeah. Do you think they're on top of their maintenance? Yeah. Like, I know you and Zelski are pretty much the same where you almost strip everything down mm-hmm. to the motor. Yeah. Almost pull the motor out. Well, you had to, unfortunately, this time. <laughs> but, you know, but, right. Okay. Now, I could say, you know, now that's not fair, but at the same time, that's just like how seriously you guys are taking this, right? right? I could still say that there's probably two or three other drivers that do the same thing, but they're missing that luck. Right. You know, like you in 21. Right. You could start five wide and jump someone's right rear tire, and you're still coming up amazing, <laughs> right? You, <laughs> like, you are still coming up strong. I think you and Clayton were talking about that a couple weeks ago. I said, man, when it's your, when it's your year, it's your yeah. year. You can't do anything wrong, and it just... And, and that's oh. Clayton's year this year, right? I mean, right. He, every time I see him kind of get himself into a situation, I'm like, oh, man, there, there it goes, you know, and pops out of it. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, I know bikes. Exactly, I know how that feels. I had one of those years. But. <laughs> yeah. Bikes up on the cushion, goes back four spots, yellow. <laughs> oh, oh, you. Yeah. But I've had those nights, yeah. too. You know, I mean, I've had those nights. Yeah. I haven't had those those years yeah. like you guys had. Um, right? So I would say that, you know, those, you four especially, and then those other two or three drivers, um, are in, I would say, that elite status. And then you got guys that do tires, do shocks, do maintenance, but just not as serious. Right. And then, which I would say that that's probably most of the field. And then you have the guys that are, that they're not looking for anything. They just want to have some fun. And then sure. there's nothing wrong with that. Right. Um, so I would say, too, that even within those tiers, the smallest tier is probably about seven guys. And those guys are the guys running up front, put it on a show. You have those other guys in the other tier. They, they're racing each other. You guys that are out there for fun, they're racing. So I don't think the Wisconsin winless has lost competitiveness. I just think those top six, seven teams elevated themselves. Just like I was talking with Sibia last night at Angel Park. Like, you know, when you're leading, you don't give it your all. Right. Not that you're sandbagging, but you know, once someone pokes your nose, then you really just find that extra right. ten feet that driving in deeper, or you just find that extra couple degrees in the in the pitch to get through that hole right. better, right? So I think that's just where those seven teams are. I and that's why you guys are. That's why it's down to five five different winners. Um, yeah, I think it's like uh, uh, my boss kind of put it to me one way, and, and it's just a mind. It's a little way the mindset, right? Like. You have the people who who want to strive for more, mm-hmm. right? And and that's a good thing. It's mm-hmm. not that it's not a good thing. And then you've got the people who are comfortable where they are, right? right? Yeah. And that's not wrong either, right? Like in a business mindset, like you want those people too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You want the people who strive for more and move up, but you also want those people who are fine where they're at, right? Mm-hmm. Like that that's the people that keep the life blood running, right? right. Yeah. And it's, I think it's the same with racing, like. Yeah. It's not that it's wrong. Like some people are just there to have fun. Right. Yeah. And that, I mean, that's what it should be. You should be. Everybody yeah. should still be having yeah. fun. Yeah. But then there's also a step further where like people want to have fun, but like you want to win, right? right. Yeah. You're not first. You're last. Yeah. <laughs> right. And I mean, so we can talk about dominance too. We haven't had a dominant team. Right. Year to year to year to year. Yeah, right. Like Tim has had his ups and downs, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's so far the only duplicate champion, I think. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, pre, I'm pretty sure Clayton's going to add to that this year. Yeah. Right. But it's not like we've had nine years of the series and all nine championships have been won by Bill Baylog or something. Right. You know. So. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, now it's game time. So it's going to sound a little tricky, um, but once you start playing it, it, you'll understand it a little bit better. All right. So we got six questions that I've come up with. The answer are numbers. Okay, so we're going to start off with Ryan Marshall here. He's going to get to pick whichever question he wants me to ask him. You should have just went with a six-sided dice. Yeah, but then you're going to get six, 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 six all the way through. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we'll have Marshall. He'll pick out a, a question that he wants me to read. He gets first. He'll, he'll guess the number. If it's correct, he gets two points. If he doesn't get it right, Brandon, you have a chance to steal. Okay. And all you have to say, if the correct answer is higher or lower than the number he came up with, but if you get it wrong, you lose one point. Okay. 
Okay, and we're just going to keep going back and forth. All right. Marshall. One through six. Two. Two. Okay. Oh, this is good. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Sibia. Ever heard of him? Mm -hmm. Okay. One hot tamale. All right. He has won a ton of heat races in the Wisconsin wingless sanctioned by the IRA. Yeah. How many heat races has he won? <laughs> I bet you he's got to be close to fifty. Close to fifty? I think so. G give me a, give me a solid number. Fifty-two. Fifty-two. That is wrong. No. Brandon, higher? Um, High side? What's the time frame on this? Since twenty seventeen. Twenty seventeen. Higher. You would be. Correct! Wow. Yes. He has 64 wow. heat race wins. And he's actually on a streak right now. I, I had to get, yeah, he's, oh, eight, yeah, because of last night, too. Eight in a row? Yeah, eight heat races in a row. Really? Yeah, wow. he is on a hot wow. streak. I think one year he got, like, 17 heat races. And I, 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 it had too to be bad, Too bad good things don't pay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it had to be 2021 or when he did that, too, because there were so many races, right? Sure. Um, Wow, awesome. Okay. Um, Brandon, one or three through six? Let's do four. Four. So, let me make sure I got this. All right. <clears throat> what is the largest car count to start a Wisconsin wingless sprint series race? Wisconsin? Yep. And we're saying start the A main. Yeah. Order. Oh, oh. Oh. So not entries, but cars okay. to start. Sorry, I just want to make sure I clarify that. Cars to start. Like how many cars signed in, right? No, not signed in. Not signed in. I was going to say, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of okay feature. with that. How many cars started the feature? <laughs> Ooh, I'm confused. Yeah. <laughs> let me, let me, let me, let me rephrase that one. Is there a night that I don't know about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It could be. All right, I was gonna have a guess if you're saying like the most like no. What is the cars. largest car car to start a Wisconsin wingless A main? A main. Man, um, thirty. That would be wrong. <laughs> I think if Marshall wants to steal this one, it's gonna be pretty easy. High side or low side? Low side. And it would be the low side. It is twenty six cars. Dang. Well, yeah. And that was at 141 in yeah. June 2019 okay. because 26 cars started, so they didn't want to run a B main, just knock two cars out. True. So I was like, ooh, that's going to be one of those ones that kind of tricks you because yeah. it's 24. Right. Duh, 24. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to think of a high number at night, and I know yeah. typically they split the difference, and I was like, okay, maybe it might be somewhere around there. All right, we are back to Marshall here. One, three, five, or six? Five. Five. Okay, <clears throat> let me make sure I got this right so I can keep score. All right, what is, or hang on, I wrote this kind of weird, so I gotta reread it again. The, the single highest driver, or wait, the single highest win count for one driver for one single year was seven. How many times has that happened? Twice. That would be wrong. Brand More. High side? Yeah, high side. And you would be correct. It happened three, three times. times yeah. Zelski in 21, mm -hmm. uh, Shank in 17, and Clear in 16. Which when I came up with that, they're like, bet those two shouldn't count. Well, the first one shouldn't count. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, we're back to Brandon, right? So we did a two, four, five? Yep, yeah, two, four, five. Okay, let's go for one. Go for one. What year did Wilmot Raceway open? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> the people that I've asked this, that one person got it right. They were, like, off by a year on either side. Uh, wasn't it called the Kenosha County Fair Speedway at one point, though? This is off of Wikipedia because I'm professional. And it must be true. <laughs> no, no, it's off of Wilmot's website. It's off of Wilmot's website. 
Um, so I'm, I'm probably assuming... gonna shoot this really far. I'll, I'll go for like sixty-four. That would be wrong. Mm-hmm. Right. Higher or lower? lower? Is it higher? Or lower? Okay. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so older will be lower. Lower. Newer will be higher. Lower. Lower. Yeah. That would be correct. Yeah. Nineteen fifty. Fifties. Yeah. Four. One. Nineteen fifty one. I was trying to be conservative, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you did number one. And Ryan got that one. Okay. So I think it's two all right now. Nice. Alright. So I did mention that there's one about Ryan in here. This Ryan. Oh gosh. And it's up to him. It's a 50-50 shot if he's going to get his own question. <laughs> so would you like three or six? Three. And he got <laughs> it. <laughs> awesome. All right. This is going to be great, Ryan. <laughs> All right. In 2021, the Wisconsin Wingless had a record-breaking 36 scheduled events. And you said 34, I'm like, well, I don't want him to know what the question is because I did this. <laughs> so in 2021, the Wisconsin Women's Sprint Series had a record-breaking 36 scheduled events. How many points did the champion Ryan Marshall end with? <laughs> oh, man. I'm glad you got this because you actually can, you know, the points like what average point series? I have um, no idea what we ended up with. Oh man. <laughs> I just know how close it was. That's all that mattered. I mean you got your crew chief in here. I will allow if he can kind of figure it out from <laughs> if we could tag team this if you want. Say twenty seven hundred flat. Twenty seven hundred, sure. That is wrong. <laughs> Brandon, do you want to steal? Because if you get it wrong, you lose a point. But if you get it right, you gain a point. At this point, we're tied, right? Yeah. Mm. So if you get it wrong, you can get it right and then win still. Can you can you repeat the question to me? In twenty twenty one, the Wisconsin Wingless had a record breaking thirty six scheduled events. How many points did the champion Ryan Marshall end with? <clears throat> he said twenty seven hundred. I was surprised too. Um I, I don't know. I'll go for it. Is that lower? That would be wrong. That would be wrong. higher. That would be like thirty six hundred or something like that. Oh my uh, dude, if you would have said thirty six hundred, I would have given that to you. 3,665 wow. points. Wow. Wow. Okay. Which that leaves so the last question. Brandon okay. with number six. So this is updated, okay, from last, this past weekend because it changed after I wrote it. How many features has Ryan Zelski won? Oh, gosh. <laughs> And, and what's the time frame? Are you saying like his his what's his, his entire career? Yeah, his entire career. How many features? Is there Wisconsin wingless career? Wisconsin wingless, yeah, Wisconsin wingless career. Oh, I, I don't even have a frame of reference, honestly. Uh, how many features he's won in his entire career? Gosh, I don't even know. I don't. Even, I'm just gonna throw out like. 12. I know that's probably low, but that I don't, I don't have a frame of reference. That would be wrong. Yeah. Higher. Higher. Yeah. And it is yeah. higher. 22. 22. Yeah. And his number's 21. And when I did the question, he had 21 features. And I'm like, well, <laughs> that works really good. And then he had to go win it because Marshall didn't show up. <laughs> so, total score <laughs> is Ryan, Marshall, 3, and Brandon, 1. But that was... That was a pretty fun game, yeah. was it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. good idea. And thank you, Nathan, for stopping by. <laughs> <laughs> this would be something that Nathan would do, too, lay across us. <laughs> <laughs> wrong on that one. Life size. <laughs> Man, that's the night he had poison night me, too. Oh, no. <laughs> awesome. Oh. And on that note, we are out of here. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you in two weeks. Peace out, Girl Scout.